Earlier, I spoke to Joan Grillo in Honduras for the latest on that. The sources we're getting uh, are all confirming uh, this version that Salaya will fly to Mexico. Uh, the Mexican government sources said uh, people inside the uh, Mexico's foreign relations uh, department have said they're going to uh, send a government plane to pick up Salaya from Honduras uh, and fly him to Mexico City, where he can see exile. Uh, also, some sources close to Salaya himself inside, uh, he's in the embassy, some one of the uh, uh, media uh, uh, owners in Honduras who's an ally of Salaya, he runs a uh, global radio and TV station, he's also announced that this deal is being made. They're just confirming that the interim government, the uh, de facto government who kicked Salaya out in a coup back in June, is actually going to let him leave the embassy and board the Mexican plane without arresting him because they have, still have a criminal charge of treason against him. Right. Now, Hondurans chose a new president recently, and now Zelaya is leaving the country. Do you think it's now looking like the political crisis the country's been gripped in for, for months is ending? It, it does indeed look that way. I mean, uh, the resistance, uh, as it's so-called, the support of Zelaya, has largely dissipated uh, you know, their campaigns. I mean, back in, in June and July, we've seen tens of thousands on the street and clashing with soldiers. And those clashes ha have really finished. There was a successful election um, uh, uh, about uh, one week ago, which they now, uh, uh, many countries are supporting. But there are still still some key issues to deal with. Uh, the Brazil and Venezuela and other leading South American powers are still refusing to recognize the election, refusing to recognize the de facto government, saying it was illegal. They got the uh, elected president out in a coup. Uh, and generally, there's been a, a bad precedent set. Uh, the people who orchestrated the coup have seem to have got away with it. And that worries many people in the Americas the coup d'etats could become a common thing again.